Hey there friends, one of the most common misconceptions about a PhD is that this is about reaching a huge scientific breakthrough and that you seek for inspiration to make the definitive experiment in your field. This was actually more or less the attitude that I had when I started my PhD, which is why I make it a point to tell everybody starting a PhD in my lab nowadays that no, this is not the point. You don't need to do that. You don't need to achieve a major breakthrough. And it is also unlikely that you will receive during the course of your studies an inspiration for the definitive experiment in your field. A PhD is a lot more about perspiration than about inspiration. Most likely during your PhD, you will not have this amazing awesome idea because having such an idea actually requires a lot of experience typically and you also most likely will not achieve a major breakthrough and the good news is you don't have to what is important though is to stick to the work to make steady progress to learn the tools and methods that you need to succeed in your particular field to keep your deadlines to have a more or less steady delivery of some sort of results and progress and to not be discouraged by setbacks and failures because they are inevitably going to happen. That's what's really important and that's what in the end will make you earn a PhD. So your ambition should be to become better and more proficient at the things that you do and you should not aim for an elusive breakthrough in science that may never come. Now, this may sound a little disappointing, but you have to remember that after you earn a PhD, you have virtually a lifetime, let's say 30 years or so, to work on this breakthrough, to work on this great idea, to work on this inspiration for the definitive study or experiment. So the most useful thing to think about your PhD is in terms of a ticket that allows you to do that afterwards in your career in science, in whatever form that career unfolds. I mean, don't get me wrong either, you should still be ambitious. You can do some very high risk, high payoff types of experiments as part of the bigger portfolio of your PhD but your PhD should mostly be consisting of elements that are more or less guaranteed to give you some results that allow you to graduate on time. It would definitely be really bad advice to tell you you should just go for those high-risk projects because they may all fail. Very often part of the PhD experience is also to understand better about yourself, first of all, what you're good at, and also what you truly find fascinating. It is almost a bit unreasonable to expect that you have this figured out right from the very beginning and right from the beginning of your PhD. So I think the, the idea is that that should come as a huge relief. This is not expected of you. You cannot possibly be expected to have this huge breakthrough. So this should be comforting. You may still do some excellent work during your PhD. And of course, you should try to do your best. But most likely, you will do your best work much, much later. I can very safely say for myself that that has definitely happened. In fact, I'm hoping that my best work is yet to come. And with that, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.